Okay, so to get a sense of the scale of the problem, I'm here with Rob Hill. So Rob, tell us a little bit about what you do here for the community ranch of Cucamonga. Well, I'm the water treatment superintendent for the Cucamonga Valley Water District, and we provide water and sewer services to the entire ranch of Cucamonga community, and plus a couple outlying areas, about 190,000 people we serve. Okay. So we've got a, a well here that, that as, uh, as, as the APT team was telling me, you've got a well that's uh, pretty contaminated and you're not able to use it. So give us a sense as to what's going on with this well and, and, and really an overall scale of the problem. You've got nitrate uh, contamination, right? Right. This is our well 23 and we have several wells just like this. We've got about 17 wells right in this region. This is one of about 12 that's been out of service for several years now, anywhere from 5 to 20 years because of the nitrate contamination issue. Oh, yeah, so you have 12 wells that are down, you can't use them because of nitrates. Correct. And so that, uh, that, that really puts a, a significant pressure on your ability to deliver water to the community then. Now this community is, is a very environmentally re, uh, responsible, environmentally conscious community and, and, and this process in, in that it, it pr doesn't produce the same type of waste that other processes do was, was, a, was a pretty unique element to, uh, uh, to really signing on to this project, right? Yeah, that was certainly a key component for the water district. Uh, just like you said, having something that's more sustainable going in uh, to perpetuity as far as this process doesn't just remove the nitrates, it reduces the nitrates to something that's harmless and back to kind of a natural elemental state. So it doesn't take the nitrates out and send them downstream of us, it actually removes them from the process right here and they're taken out of the environment. So from Cucamonga Valley Water District's point of view, that's a very key component to this process and really one of the major reasons we even considered siding on with this project. So let's let's talk a little bit about the, the cost to, to the community in, in, in bringing in uh, water from other places. I mean, it, I've, I've heard uh, some of our sustainability experts at, at Autodesk talk at, at conferences about eventually water could get more expensive than gasoline. It's gonna be such a scarce resource. So that's, a, that's I mean, that's something you gotta take into account, right? It is. I mean, 50% of our water supply for Cucamonga Valley Water District is coming in from Northern California. We can't control those costs. Those are controlled by a lot of other factors from interest throughout the state, interest throughout the country. So that's a major issue for us moving forward. So for us to be able to develop local water supplies that can help us sustain the water for our community is, is a major issue. And something that's more predictable, something we can actually count on in the future is, is a key component. Well, I really appreciate your time here today, you know, the, the explanation of the problem and, and how you're solving not just the drinking water problem, but, but taking into account the entire ecology of it and, and really is in line with your guys' sustain, sustainability efforts. Thanks so much for your time today. No problem. Nice All to right. meet you. Okay, we heard the scale of the problem. Now let's learn a little about the science behind APT's clean water, no waste solutions.